Diffraction and Amplification Attacks Before I start, I request you to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Reflection and Amplification Attacks are another type of denial of service attack that sends a flood of protocol requests packet to various IP hosts on a network. The idea is that the attacker will spoof the source of a target device. The host that receives this flooded packet, well, they are the devices that become the reflector. And so they are going to reflect or respond back to the unsuspecting target. And what happened? That device gets flooded with all of these response to something that didn't even ask for. Now if that attack packet is soliciting a large response then not only is it a reflection attack it is also an amplification attack an example of that would be sending a very small dns query and that dns query generates a large dns response <clears throat> now this could be in the form of a single attacker hitting a target or it could be multiple reflector that would be an example of distributed denial of service attack and the really hard thing about these type of attack is that they are not easy to track down. They are very difficult to trace because of the way that they are initiated. Let's take a look at an example here. This is known as the Smurf attack. Now this is an oldie but a goodie. Oldie but a goodie but it is a good way for us to get an idea for how these reflection an amplification attack works okay so here is my attacker this is in the bad guy and what he is going to do is he's got this v56 uh, 56k modem connection and right now we would look at the at that and go wow that's nothing and yeah we know that because he doesn't really need to hold lot to send a ping packet it is what he is going to do. He is going to send the ICMP echo request to a network. He is going to send it to, in many cases, the directed broadcast address. Now, that's kind of key in this type of attack. It is the directed broadcast address. And so that packet makes its way through the internet. It goes into the network where that directed broadcast was sent and it hits the network. It's a directed broadcast. All the machines that are on the network are going to reply back. And the source address was spoofed. The source is the poor little victim sitting down here. And all of a sudden, bang, all of these guys are replying back to him. And he's getting thousands of ICMP echo replies come back, coming back. So again, you can see the problem here, right? This network is flooded for one and for two. This victim is all of a sudden feeding all, fielding all of these responses for unsolicited ICMP messages. That is how it easy it is to launch this type of attack. Now we, uh, now are we susceptible to this type of attack today? No, not really. What happened is we can mitigate that real easy on our routers by giving them the no IP directed broadcast command on the interface. It is not really an attack method anymore because that is the default configuration for routers, many of the routers. However, there are other reflection and amplification attack that we have seen since then. So in March 2013, there was a DNS amplification attack that made it possible to access certain website that particular DNS amplification attack generate, generated 3000 gigabit per second of attack, attack traffic because it exploited DNS open recursive resolver. Now that is not the only amplification attack that we have seen. Reflection and amplification attack we also saw on February 2013. It was an NTP amplification attack. Well. What's the moral of the story here? The moral of the story is that reflection and amplification attacks are just another type of denial of services attack. It is another attack vector that we need to be aware of. 
it is one that difficult to trace back to that real attacker because they are spoofing that source address and the source address is actually the target of their attack so please subscribe my channel for more tutorial thank you so much